Hello and welcome back to HWRadio.com. You're here with your main man, Hollywood. Yeah. Man, I don't know how the hell y'all people done slept on the Yellow Wolf track Shade, the MGK disc. I was letting other people get a chance, you know. Out of everybody else that dropped something, this is the hardest shit. Yellow Wolf is underrated, and motherfuckers need to pay more attention to him, and I understand, because I guess some people, like, he reaching or something, but I understand where he's coming from. First of all, you're trying to cause confusion inside of my damn company. Like, Eminem's his boss, so you trying to pull him into y'all shit like I fuck with Yellow Wolf, <laughs> and Yellow Wolf gonna side with me. And Yellow Wolf like, man, fuck you. <laughs> like, shit, Eminem was real to me. And on top of that, that's who I uh, had chose to even be somebody. Remember I told y'all I really ain't never listened to MGK? That's because I chose Yellow Wolf because he had his own style and he wasn't trying to be nobody else. And he could rap. But back to the topic at hand. Also, this is another reason I feel that he made this this diss track and he has a right to it because Machine Gun Kelly tried to make it seem like he needed him to make a hit because as you could hear on the on song he like nigga it don't matter who the fuck I'm with <laughs> nigga I'm still gonna drop a motherfucking hit and nigga he said some he said some shit on there and nigga that like mm-hmm, like shit nigga like if you want it if you want it MGK style stepped up you got Yellow Wolf and that's just to be honest I mean, Yellow Wolf, he ain't no Eminem, but the motherfucker is hard. He's hard, and he he talk about shit all the damn time. I know that much, because every song I done heard, it was like a deep story to it. So, like, he basically a good, he a good storyteller, but with, like, a southern twist to it. But, trying to tell you, don't sleep on Yellow Wolf, because, you know, at first, you know, the beat, I heard, when I first heard it, I heard the beat, and I was like, okay, he got like a, the beat is kind of catchy, it's different, it's different for a diss, it's more like a damn song, but then you diss somebody inside the song, and it's really a diss song, that's a, that's what I think he got over everybody else that makes diss music, is that he can make an actual diss, like, he's like a Drake, like Drake can make a motherfucking bank, cause you know how like somebody make a diss song, a diss song hot for that month, and then bam, hey man, you got some music that we could ride to, like man, fuck it, we we heard, we we know what you said about him already, fuck it, but see this right here, it's a mix up, you can, you can ride all day to that motherfucking hook, and then how the beat switch up, and all of them got some hard beats, even MGK, Eminem, and Yellow Wolf, they, all the beats is hard. The new beats, they they about to change the game up to real hip hop. And I see real hip hop's about to surface back around. So mumble rappers, y'all had y'all run, but shit, it's looking like motherfuckers gonna wanna hear something now. They're tired of not hearing shit. But once again, I mean, then again, motherfuckers always love a hard ass beat. So as long as you can keep hard ass beats, cause boy, Lord forbid you get a whack one. <laughs> Motherfucker be like, this nigga ain't even saying shit. Motherfucker, he ain't been saying shit on the damn harder beats. <laughs> nigga, this motherfucker just ain't saying shit. The beat was hard. That's going to be the show for today. So go over to hwlradio.com, download the radio station app, make sure you check out the sponsors page, and, you know, shit. Like I said, I think it's about to make a comeback. Everything comes back around in a circle, and I think this is the time that I'm out.